Ladies and gentlemen, and all the rest of you space pirates out there, hello and welcome back to Space Engineers and back to the UNSC Mini Fleet. And today we're having a look at three separate ships because they are pretty much identical to previous ones we have looked at except for a mod or two and a slight rearrangement of arms. And the first one is the, is this, what was the name of this one? This is a stalwart, isn't it? Yes, the mini stalwart. And the biggest difference in this one is the arms up front. It's got a giant cannon installed instead of the uh, missile batteries that the previous one did. And what is that right there? What is that right there? That looks weird right there. What is that? That is a blast door. Okay. Just some blast doors. So, protection. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, they did, the uh, the creator of these ships, uh, unauthorized, uh, did put in the command console packs from Colt inside and underneath. But other than that, it is pretty much a stalwart with a giant cannon, which I believe, if we look at it, I believe is this one here. The 25 centimeter arc, or no, uh, rack, I guess. 25 centimeter rack 6L40. Big friggin' gun is what it is. And that's the only difference in that one. Next to it is the Sharon, which has pretty much the same thing. It is a Sharon with, instead of a missile rack up front, is that same giant gun. Um... And of course, we got some mods on the inside, like the command console pack, and uh, that's pretty much it. And armored thrusters and whatnot. But everything else is the same inside. Next to it over here, I believe, is another Sharon, but they are naming it the Paris. Now, I don't know if Paris is a specific ship in the um, in the Halo universe, but it is a little more heavily armed than the Sharon. In fact, it's much more heavily armed because it's got missile turrets up front, three Gatling turrets on the top behind it, and five Gatling turrets underneath. So this thing's definitely definitely got some teeth. And of course up front it's got the giant ass cannon. Right there. Actually the front end's changed a little bit too. Yeah, the front the front end of the nose has changed a little bit. So maybe it has a, a little bit of lore behind it that I don't know. But the inside is pretty much the Sharon. So it's pretty cool. And uh, to keep this from being too short a video, I want to test one of these cannons. So we're going to grab the Paris because it's sexier than the rest. And we're going to aim it at these other ships and see how well that thing works. Because it's kind of cool, man. Let's get inside here. We're going to accelerate outwards just a wee bit so we can turn around. Very, very slow acceleration. This, I don't mind. With the big heavy cannons on the front, this is definitely intended to be somewhere kind of mid-range and kind of sniping things with this giant cannon from afar. So it doesn't really need a whole lot of maneuverability. Again, from a space engineer standpoint, that's how I feel about it. So we turn around here, pop into this, Aim it roughly there. And fire one. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. Fire two. Pure penetration. And fire three. Fire three, I said. There we go. Let's go look at what the damage these things did. And what do we have? We have... Oh yeah, that's gone. Caused a lot of damage right there. Where else did we hit? We hit... Yikes. Tore the front end off. Another hit and this ship would be completely crippled. 
clean through. Right clean through. One more hit, and that, that would have been gone. So, yeah, these are definitely your big snipers, your heavy hitters. So that's pretty cool. And they're pretty much, again, copies of previous ships, just with slightly different arms and a little bit of modification inside with some uh, modded uh, consoles. Anyway, let's get this ship back parked where it belongs, and I will bring you right back. Alrighty, and that is the three pack of the. What was the names again? We got the Sharon. Right? Yep, the Sharon, the Stalwart, and the Paris. So, pretty cool. Uh, nice little variations on the existing ships. And, uh, yeah, don't be caught in front of these things. You're going to get obliterated. <laughs> So anyway, that's going to be it for today. Uh, if you like what you saw here today, please do leave me a like and a comment. And if you're new here, sub for more, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Good night, everybody.